guys it's the garden fairy here and i am just doing a little haul for you guys um just wanted to show you some things i got while i was gone on a little trip to san diego over the weekend i am super happy that i was able to take the trip just because you know what's going on and everything and it's just nice to be able to get away for a little while so hopefully you guys have been able to go on some kind of trip or get away so you can just relax and enjoy life because right now life is throwing us some curveballs that we were not <laughs> at all expecting anyway this backpack i actually did not get in san diego but i did get it a little while back at hot topic it is the stitch um tropical backpack it's super duper cute um i tried to pick one with his face like that in the front just because i love that that look that he has um this one's cute too. I'm not a super huge fan of him smiling with his teeth. I don't know why, but I'm just not. But anyway, this is the Stitch Tropical backpack that I got. I won't open it up just because I use this one in San Diego. So it has a lot of stuff inside of it. My personal thing. So I won't open it up for you right now. But maybe I'll do another detailed video of some of my lounge flies. This is a lounge fly. Um, I bought it at Hot Topic again. Um, and... Uh, I think I got it for 30 I used a 30% off coupon. The original price was $39.50. And so I think, yeah, I used a 30% off coupon. It has like a pale blue strap and a black back. <clears throat> I just love the little yellow um, tropical flowers on it with the, you know, palm leaves. And then it has also the little yellow tropical um I don't know if that's like hibiscus or what, but the little flower as the zipper pull. So that is my stitch. Next, I ordered some stuff from Shop Disney. And I got the Tiki Room backpack. I'm super duper excited about this one. It is beautiful. I absolutely love this bag so, so much. Um, it has Tiki Room birds all on the front, the sides, the top. I believe the one, the red uh, macaw is Jose. And then there's some more birds on the side. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in the back it is plain green with the brown straps. So I just got this, so that's why it's all tied up. But I'll try to open it so you guys can see. The interior is gorgeous. Sorry, I'm videotaping with my phone, so I have to try to do things with one hand. I don't have anything special to record my videos on yet look at the interior you can kind of see it it's a brown interior with the birds as well inside with the flowers and it still has the stuffing inside i'm gonna keep that in there um this was on chub disney and i got it for the 20 percent off i believe so i think i got it for 60 instead of the original price 35 i also picked up this pretty girl i am a new fan of rapunzel um if you guys don't really know or don't really, you know, I um, love dolls. I just start collecting plush dolls. Um, I have quite a few. Let's put it right there. I have quite a few and I just, I started getting into Rapunzel. Um, my favorite princesses as of now are Ariel and Tiana, but Rapunzel's starting to be a new favorite of mine. And I did have a sale for her as well for the 20% off, so... I did get her for a little cheaper. So that is what I got from Shop Disney. There was one other item that I forgot to pull it. It was just a reusable tote with the princesses on it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous tote. Next, what I got, <clears throat> I ordered off of eBay. And this is something I got super duper excited about. Look, I got the Pirates of the Caribbean Minnie Mouse uh, main attraction uh, fanny pack. I was not able to order it on line, um, and I did not even get it in store. I honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, I was not going to collect any of the Minnie Mouse main attraction um, items just because I had spent so much in the previous year. Um, honestly, oh, doggy's gonna get somewhere right here. <laughs> um, I had spent so much in the previous year on limited edition dolls. Like, limited edition dolls, that is my thing. Like, I love dolls. I'm a big doll collector. So, I kind of decided this year to take a little hiatus on dolls and start, you know, just focusing on other things. 
Well, while I while I was taking the hiatus, I started finding my new love for lounge fly and bags in general. And this bag is just stunning. I did order the ears online as well for actually a pretty decent deal. I think the ears I got for these were 60 and then this bag was like 70 so that was actually not a bad price considering the other amounts that people were charging like 100 and i'm just like okay no i won't do 100 but here is the little pool tag tab here it's the shape of a ship and as you can see her ears have the little i forget what this is like the steering wheel i guess on the ship and the little skullet and then if I can open it, we can see the inside a little bit. <laughs> Scooby. And you guys can see it. It has the little wheels on the inside as well. It's super duper adorable. Oh my goodness. I love this bag. This fanny bag. Fanny pack. Whatever you call it. Let's move that out of the way. This is such a pretty detail. So yeah, I got that on eBay really adorable next this is something i ordered on mercari and i actually found it at hot topic i actually found this bag at hot topic i did not buy it i know i'm like kicking myself for not buying it but i did not buy it um it is the rapunzel daniel nicole backpack i did not buy it because there was another backpack i was there to purchase and I wanted to get that one first. Well, lo and behold, I came. Oh no, it wasn't Hot Topic. It was Box Lunch. Um, <clears throat> box Lunch, actually. I came back and they did not have this backpack. It was gone, obviously. And I was like, darn, I should have got it. But, you know, I did find this for a pretty good deal on Mercari. It is Rapunzel with all her glorious golden hair. Oh, here comes Scooby again. Hi, Scooby. He's smelling the backpack. That's Scooby, everyone. <laughs> Sniffing the backpack. Um, she likes to sniff things. Um, so, yeah, this is a, just a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I love how the hair is just, like, all around. <laughs> Scooby. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The hair is all around the backpack. It is gorgeous. The interior is nothing really like, super exciting. I think it's just the Daniel Nicole logo. I think so. Because it says DN, I believe. So yeah, it's not super duper exciting on the inside. But the backpack is gorgeous. Now, I will tell you. If you are on the bigger side. Or you have just a long arm length. The straps are not very long. I mean, I put it all the way up to its maximum length. And I don't know if you can tell, but the straps are not very long. So if you're interested in buying this bag and you have kind of a broad shoulders or you're, you know, just a little bigger in stature, um, these might be a little bit uncomfortable fit. Unless I didn't do it right, unless I didn't pull it correctly, maybe that could be it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is a gorgeous bag. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, moving right along. My last and final item, and I actually found this in San Diego, and I'm super duper excited. Actually, I'll show you two things I bought in San Diego. I found the Cinderella pink backpack in San Diego at Box Lunch. There was just one sitting there, and I was like, I have to get it. I have to get it. I convinced myself that I had to get it. <laughs> and this bag is beautiful. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I just noticed the little scissor um emblem on here for the, the zipper pull it is such a beautiful backpack i love the little um what is this the measuring tape yeah measuring tape um detail on the on the handles of the bag so gorgeous honestly i saw this bag online and it was a pre-sale and it said you wouldn't receive it till august and i'm like well dang you know, I have to wait all the way till August for that. I don't know if you can kind of see. You can kind of see there's the blue lining and it has like the mice in there and Cinderella. Super, super cute. I'm going to pull all the stuffing out of it just because it's kind of hard to do when you have one hand, When you're just, you know, recording with one hand and you have the other hand. But 
it is such a beautiful backpack you guys i love it so much i could not leave it behind yes i had to pay full price for it because i did not my, wouldn't you know all my box lunch cash i can't use till july of course don't they just do these things purposely to get you <laughs> one more thing i found at box lunch i had to get the marilyn monroe funko it is absolutely stunning and beautiful it's her with her um dress being blown up <clears throat> i think this is from the seven year itch i have that movie i have a lot of marilyn monroe movies i'm just a big um old movie fan um and i absolutely love this funko so much it is gorgeous she has her earrings she has her beautiful shoes she just has that iconic marilyn monroe look and hair and it is a beautiful Funko Pop. So right now, if you're looking for that Funko... Oh, I didn't even notice the back of, of a picture of her. Um, if you're looking for the Marilyn Monroe Funko, um, try Box Lunch. They may have it. Well, guys, that does it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini haul. Um, not really mini, kind of medium-sized haul, um, as I did get a, quite a few things. I do have more things coming in the mail, so hopefully you guys will be looking out for that haul as well. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to stay safe out there, and I will catch you next time. Bye!